could turn the world on with her smile Who can take a nothing day And suddenly make it all seem worthwhile Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it With each glance and every little movement You show it, love is all around No need to waste it You can have the town, why don't you take it? Lovely, beautiful, my people, old people like me. Oh yeah. Well, uh, I think we have time for one more. I'll wait for that ovation to die down. Okay, there it went. And, uh, you know, come to think of it, please do hold your applause to the end. We have a lot of material to cover here. You know, I forgot to ask at the outset, by a show of hands, this is, this is important stuff, by a show of hands, how many people are wearing pants? Fuzzy ones don't count. I'm talking about pant pants. So Monday, I go to the schoolyard, and there's like kids running all over the place, and Jack's leaning on his car, having a pool, and he's got his short sleeve shirt on, and, and the kids are jumping the rope, and they're, they're just like, they're alive. They're, and there were so, so many kids, really. It's not like the you know, time we had in our school, no. And then they blow a whistle, and all these kids line up, and they do the Pledge of Allegiance, and um, all these classes start walking in. And Sister Jean, the principal I met, comes over and hands me this big, Bring the keys, and she said, you, know, you may take your class in now, Mr. McSorley. And I turn and I look, and there's like this endless line. There's got to be, I don't know, 50 kids on this line. And I said to her, the other teacher's a little late. And she said, well, the teacher, that's your class. That's the fifth grade. Walk them in. Okay? It's the first classroom that you go past in our office. And I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know what I was thinking. Most of the classes I was in in elementary school were over 35 kids anyway. And here I go. Fake it till you can make it. I walk in, I sit it down, and all these kids are Puerto Rican kids, they play with a dollar a year. They're all smiling, they're all sitting there nice because they've got a new teacher. They don't, I don't know them, they don't know me, and I don't know really what I'm doing. I don't know how to be a teacher. The only way I know how to be a teacher is do the same thing that I've been done to by, by the nuns when I went to school. You know, put stuff down, pay attention, sit up straight. Sister Morella had once told us that we were spineless jellyfish with no backbone. She would ridicule us right in the classroom, grade seven. How's that for self-esteem? Shit. On the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted. Nevermore. But we all know that one, right? So we don't have to do that one at all. <laughs> Ooh, did you get the chili willies? I got a little bit of the chili willies. Oh! My friends, I have to tell you about a wonderful time I had last night with some girlfriends. Yes, we went to a seance. I know, spooky, creepy, hmm? Now, at this particular seance, we wanted to speak with some of the literary authors that we are inspired by. So, one of my girlfriends, she got in touch with Louisa May Alcott. Lovely woman, so kind, so generous with her time. And then we talked to H.P. Lovecraft's mother. She insisted we call her Mrs. Phillips. That woman is a gossip, and I loved every second of it. Oh, it was delicious. Now. I don't think I need to tell you, but I am a particular fan of Edgar Allan Poe, and I tried. We reached out with all of our senses, but we just couldn't get him to come to the seance. However, we I have decided to cancel the two OGs of Bradenton. All right, guys, listen, 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 listen. Just before you react, hear me out. My thought is that maybe we can take our own narratives 
our class discussions, um, interviews with family and friends to create a documentary theater piece that addresses some of what we've all been experiencing over this last week. Like, it will be kind of our own little protest. Yes, Carlitos. Like, why are we even doing that, man? Protests don't like solve anything. It's just a whole bunch of people saying a whole bunch of stuff and there ain't nobody listening to Jack. It's not like we can actually do anything. You feel me? A play ain't gonna make him be alive again. It ain't gonna bring him back. It ain't gonna fix racism overnight. All it's gonna do is get people triggered. <sighs> See, the problem with students like Carlos and his generation is that they don't wanna struggle. They don't wanna feel any sort of discomfort. Did you see what I did there? How easy it was for me to shift the blame from me to them? I mean, he was right. I was asking for the impossible. We had no script, no time, very little acting ability, and they were scared. But if they didn't have the cojones, the, the ganas, the desire, then it was my job to give it to them.